Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you what to do when Windows 11 keeps freezing randomly. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to run a system file scan. To do this press the Windows button then simply type cmd and then run command prompt as an administrator. Now in the command prompt window type the following commands but make sure to press enter after each command. Note that the scans can take a bit of time, so don't lose patience. Afterwards, just restart your PC and then you can check if the problem still persists. Another useful solution is to run a disk scan. To do this, press the Windows button, then simply type CMD and then run command prompt as an administrator. Now, in the command prompt window, just make sure to type or copy-paste the following command from the description below. After pressing enter, you will see that the check this scan will be scheduled to run on reboot. Afterwards, you can check if the problem still persists. You can also reduce your monitor's resolution setting. To do this, just right-click on an empty space on your desktop and simply select the Display Settings option. Now, in the Display Window section, you can scroll down until you find the Display Resolution category, which also contains a drop-down menu. If you click this drop-down menu, you will see that you have multiple options to choose your resolution. Just choose another resolution and then check if the problem still persists. Another great solution is to check for RAM issues. To do this, press the Windows button, then simply type Memory Diagnostic and select Windows Memory Diagnostic from the search results. Now the last thing you have to do is click on the Restart Now and check for Problems button and afterwards the computer will restart and check for any issues on your PC. Then after Windows will boot once again, you can check if there's any problems solved. Another useful solution is to expand the virtual memory allocation. To do this, press the Windows button, then simply type Performance of Windows and then select it from the search results as a control panel command. Now, in the Performance Options window, make sure to click on the Advanced tab and afterwards click on the Change button next to Virtual Memory. In here, the first step is to uncheck the box next to Automatically Manage Paging File Sizes for All Drives. And lastly, what you have to do is simply click on the Custom Size box and make sure to type the recommended value specified within the Virtual Memory window in the Initial Size box. In our case, as you can see, it can be 4975, so make sure to check this recommended section. Afterwards, just click on OK and lastly, again press on OK to save the changes. You can now restart your PC and check if the problem still persists. And lastly, another useful solution is to reset Windows 11 to factory defaults. To do this, press the Windows button, then select the settings icon and afterwards on the left pane make sure system is selected and then on the right side scroll down until you find the recovery section and click on it. Now in here make sure to select the reset PC button next to reset this PC and afterwards just proceed with the on-screen instructions to start the reset procedure. And that's it. Plenty of solutions to consider. As usual, for more information and details, you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.